2, 3, Santa, Santa María, María, 1, 2, 3, 4, circle and I'm going around and around and around and around. I don't even know when this thing's starting or not. I'm just kind of going around and around and around and around like it is right now. So look, we'll go around and around and around and around and around and go. There we go. We're good to go. Bam, bam, bam. Okay, we're good there. We're good there. I think we're all good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're rock solid. Looks good to me. Anyways, uh, let's go live. Uh-oh. Kind of nosedive there a little bit. Uh, we're going to be good to go. There we go. Uh-oh. There we go. Bobby Brown, it's my prerogative. Good morning, Double R Radio. Where are we at? 9.07 in the morning. Friday morning. Free for Friday it is. Uh, el 21 de mayo. 5.21.21. That's weird, right? 5.21.21. It really, really is. Anyways, um, uh, well, the weekend's here and things are different. Slowly but surely, things are opening up, and that's good. That's very, very good. Starting to feel like normality again. It really, really is. Um, live on Facebook. Stop by and say hello, and I'll say hello back and all that other good stuff. Um, let me say this. Let me see here. I'm going to listen here and see what the hell is going on. I'm going to click right over here, and I think we're good to go, and we're good to go over here. I want to talk about, uh, we'll go here first, and then we'll talk about some other things, but... Um, Let's go here first. You know, sometimes I, I get desperate for uh, things to talk about, and uh, but I'm not desperate this morning. Um, at, at least I don't think so. What I'm going to do right now, I'm going to give you all a list of items. Uh, they're considered to be cool stuff to buy on eBay. And um, if you like what I'm saying to where I'm not selling it, I'm just telling you cool things to buy on eBay, go to eBay and... Type in whatever I talked about, and I'm sure you'll find it. You can purchase it or whatever the case may be. Okay? Good morning, Jada. I'm going to have to Deanna Casares. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Now, that being said, let's see what the hell is being sold on eBay that's considered to be very, very weird. Okay? First thing first. Popcorn scented pillow. Why would you want your pillow smelling like popcorn? Where is it without butter? That's my question. But right? A popcorn scented pillow? <laughs> Another cool thing that's being sold on eBay. An indoor snowball fight. They look like, uh, what do you call those things? Uh, uh, not marshmallows. Cotton balls. They look like, like a bunch of cotton balls inside of a can. That's not a snowball fight. That's a cotton ball fight. I'm trying to pass one on me here, man. Another cool thing that's being sold on eBay unicorn meat I didn't know they existed and if they do who killed it unicorn meat says really good with pico de gallo and guacamole I'm not gonna eat no unicorn a unicorn's never done nothing to me so why am I gonna eat the unicorn good morning Jedi good night the double R radio sponsor Cynthia Gonzalez I mean it's Houston Texas good morning amiga also double R radio sponsor Cindy Martinez Hernandez San Antonio Texas a uh, unicorn meat you know it, it kind of looks like uh what do you call that spam like a can kind of a thing but it's unicorn meat there we go uh let's see here what else is being sold that is considered to be cool now let's see here let's see what else i see here um <laughs> another cool thing that's being sold on ebay a yodeling pickle who in the hell wants a singing pickle don't even go there. Don't even go there, right? Right? If he were to be singing the song, he'd be singing, It's my prerogative, but we're not going to go there right now. There we go. Another cool thing that's being sold on eBay. Bacon bandages. <laughs> you can not only put it on your cut, but after a couple of hours, peel off the bacon bandaid and eat it. Yeah, they think of everything. <laughs> A bacon bandage. Man. Uh, let's see here. What else do they got? Uh, uh, nah, bah, bah, nah, nah, nah. Are you going to give me any more? No, you're not. Okay, so we're going to go right over here. And uh, let's see here. What else is being sold? <laughs> you know, there are some things here I'm not even going to mention. And I take it to the next level. But I can't take it to that level. I'm not going to do it. Another cool thing. A hanging car mirror disco ball. I want it. 
I'll buy this. I will. A disco ball? Mirrored disco ball? For your car? $9.99? Sold! I'm buying that baby, man. I'm going to save that one. Uh, let's see here what else is being sold. Check this out. A bowling ball that is filled with marijuana. $199. <laughs> Who wants a bowling ball that's filled with marijuana? How are you going to get to it? That's what I want to know. <laughs> How do you know there's marijuana in there? <laughs> they come out with these crazy things. Another item. A husband is willing to let you date his wife for $200 a date. Isn't that called pimping? I could have sworn there's a name for that already. That's called pimping. Do I got it right? <laughs> hey, who wants to date my wife? 200 bucks. She's all yours. There you go. Man, talk about love, right? Anyways, um, you know, um, a couple of months ago, I picked up a gentleman doing the Uber thing, and... Um, let me see here. Let me go here. Uh, I think we're good to go. There we go. Good morning, Jada. Good answer, my primo. Roger Reavers. Good morning, primo. How are we doing? The other day, I picked up a gentleman that was on his way to a job interview. This is all true. He was on his way to a job interview, and uh, he was going to be working at a place called Velvet Taco. And I told him, dude, I've never even heard of Velvet Taco. And he goes, oh, man, it's supposed to be really, really big in Dallas, up north in Virginia, in Kentucky, in Florida. I said, I've never heard of Velvet Taco. He goes, have you heard of, um, um, what do you call that other taco place, Torchy's Tacos? And I go, yeah, I've heard of Torchy's Tacos. Have you been there? And I go, I went there one time. I wasn't impressed. He said, Velvet Taco is taking it to the next level. And I go, really? So I'm going to give you all some of the lowdown here on what you can expect at Velvet Taco. Okay. Taco number one, a buffalo chicken taco, crisp tenders, house buffalo sauce, Danish blue cheese, ranch cream, carrots, micro celery, and a flour tortilla. That sounds okay, I guess. Um, another rotisserie chicken taco, queso blanco, roasted corn, pico, uh, charred tomato, poblano, salsa, cilantro, corn tortilla. That sounds pretty good, right? Uh, a spicy tikka chicken, crispy, tender, spicy tikka sauce, whatever that is, buttered cilantro, rice, a rate of cream, tony basil, flour tortilla, huh. a picnic chicken taco, rotisserie chicken, avocado cream, uh, warm honey, Dijon, crispy chicken skin, hey, I like the crispy chicken skin, I like that, cilantro and a flour tortilla, now check this one out, check out this taco, a chicken and waffle taco, huh. Crispy, tenders, peppered, bacon, peppercorn, gravy, green apple, slaw, maple syrup, red chili, and uh, in a waffle tortilla. So they get a waffle, and they make it into a tortilla, the waffle, and they put all this stuff in there. I don't know, man. You know, let, let me say this. I, I don't consider myself to be a fancy, dancy kind of a guy. I really, really don't, but even more so, um, if I would prefer just going to a tikka taco. A papa taco. Taqueria number 117. I'm not this fancy, dancy, you know, velvet taco tourist kind of a... Th that's not me, man. I, that's just not me. I, I don't do things like that. I, I don't know, man. To me, and then probably these tacos, they don't have prices on it. Go figure, eh? That says something right there. More likely, these tacos are probably $5 a piece. I'm not going to pay $5 for a baby taco. I'm not going to do it. I'd rather go right here to, uh, 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 what's it called? The Pico de Gallos. Or what's it called over here? Uh, I forgot the name of it. <laughs> I'm losing it. Uh, Pico de Gallo, whatever it's called. You get two tacos, man, and a coffee for five bucks, man. I'm happy. That's the kind of prices I like. Good morning, John. I can answer. It's a Michelle Cohen. Good morning, Micaela. There we go. The ever so political Michelle Cohen. Anyways, here we are Friday morning and the weekend is upon us. And uh, uh, what do I have planned this weekend? R&R. &R, lots of rest. As to, I'm going to be working today, of course. Then uh, I'll probably do some shopping tomorrow. And uh, you know what? Let me tell you all something. Tomorrow I plan on going to Penners. If you know anything about San Antonio, Penners is in the middle of downtown San Antonio. And it's been there before the Alamo. 
I think General Santa Ana stopped there and bought himself a couple of outfits before he invaded the Alamo. But anyways, I plan on going to Penner's tomorrow. I haven't been there, all true, since I was 16 years old and my dad bought me a leisure suit. Do y'all remember leisure suits? You're not that old? Leisure suits was kind of like matching pants and a matching coat with a flowery shirt underneath. That was considered a leisure suit. And I used to wear one of those bad boys back when I was 17 or 18. Then I ended up pawning it. There you go. Anyways, um, be sure and join me each and every Sunday for Cruising Classics, the best in old school love songs. And, of course, uh, do not forget, um, here in two weeks, I'm going to say it again. Hey, what the hell? In two weeks, I will be out and about. I will be taking a leave of absence June the 3rd and June the 4th on the morning shows. So, the radio station will be up and running, of course, 24-7, but I will not be doing the morning show June the 3rd, June the 4th. I am uh, taking a little break from the action, going to get some R&R &R in me, and uh, me and my son are headed to Las Vegas, Nevada, and uh, just uh, go, just really, man, just get away for a little bit. Uh, things are opening up in Las Vegas as well, so look, at it should be very, very awesome out there, and even more so, man, when they're comping me the room, and I'm getting free air for over there, and they're giving me gobs of money to gamble with for free. I'm there. So what better time to take a break than on that time right there. Now, um, what else do I have to say? I, I think that's it, man. I think I'm done. What? You want a dirty joke? I don't say dirty jokes. This is this is a family show. By the way, my, my youngest daughter, Angela, is taking my grandbaby, Mia. They're going out there to, uh, what is that? Wonderland? Not Wonderland Mall. Um, Disneyland. They're going to Disneyland this weekend, and my daughter was showing me some of the prices at Disneyland. Man, they're pricey at Disneyland. If you want to meet Mickey or Minnie Mouse, it's a hundred dollars. <laughs> Who wants to meet Mickey or Minnie Mouse, and you got to pay a hundred dollars? I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> Man, that's some pricey stuff there. A cold beer while you're walking around Disneyland. One beer. $16. I don't think so. I can buy a case of beer for that. I'm staying right here in San Antonio. There we go. Anyways, let's see here. I think we're good to go. Let's keep it going. Let's do something by, as soon as this thing wants to open, let's do something by uh, the late, great Donna Summer. Good morning, Double R Radio. How are we doing, everybody? Friday morning it is. Freeform Friday. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me now. Robert Weavers, Radio.com. Simple. I like all this little, uh, you know, Sign language and all this other good stuff, giving you all this energy. RobertReversRadio.com. Just click on that media player button and you'll be joining me in vivo. Let's go there now. Click uh, button number one and click button number two. 